Recording in progress. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the Whitehall City Council special meeting for January 10th, 2023. Ms. Ogg, would you please call the roll? Dixon. Here. Cantor. Present. 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 Thomason. Present. Elmore. Present. 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 We have one item under first reading, Ordinance 1, 2023, authorizing and approving amendments to 161.36, salaries of council, 161.361, salary of the mayor, 161.362, salary of the city attorney, 161.363, salary of the auditor, and 161.364 salary of the treasurer for the next election term beginning January 1st, 2024, and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 1, 2023, and move for a suspension of rules. Thank you. Need a second? Second. There's a second by Ms. Elmore. Is there any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Dixon. Yes. Cantor? No. Smith? Yes. Heck? Yes. Connison? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Bailey? Yes. <coughs> Rules have been suspended. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to adopt. Second. Any discussion on the motion? Yeah, Mr. President, I'd like to make a statement on these. I understand that we have increases on salaries. I totally understand that. But to sit there and look at my friends and my family, neighbors um, and tell them and they see such big increases and if you look at the dollar figure it doesn't but when you do the percentages it does we give every we approved a budget where we gave our employees that work for the city of white all three and a half percent which is more than what we gave them in the past we're in a recession we have the cost of living going up i mean you go out and buy a dozen eggs i bought jumbo eggs for 3.99 a loaf of bread three dollars and 99 cents gallon of milk some places four dollars so I think these salaries are excessive, and I just wanted my feelings to be known on that. That's all I have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other comments? Well, if I could, just to, just for the record, I just uh, want to clarify that these are salaries that haven't that are only raised once every four years. So they, they these salaries haven't been impacted for the last four years, and if City Council doesn't act uh, at this point at this juncture then the next opportunity to do it would mean a raise wouldn't be for eight years. And we're talking on average 12% instead of 10 or nine. Correct. I understand you could go to two and a half or three and a half and, and say, well, we're right there to six and a half to 7%. I also understand we cannot vote ourselves a raise. So the only people that this affects would be the people that would be getting elected starting 2024. But then you have people that, that aren't running next year, that don't run for two more years, that it doesn't affect for three more years. And then like Mr. Bailey just said, so then you're looking at a seven, eight year period. I, I totally understand that. I understand what you're saying, so yeah. That's fine, I just wanted okay. to make sure that the, the people who are both here and watching at home understand that uh, the 10% the or the extra $500 for council is 7.7%, I understand what you're saying. Seven, six, seven, seven, yeah. It's fine, I'm allowed to express I, my my feelings on this, Mr. Kinder, I, okay. I, I'm not I'm not trying to get you to change your mind. Okay. I, I, I'm just merely wanting people to understand at home. I know you understand it, but I want to make sure that they understand that these salaries haven't been affected, haven't been changed in four years, and so this is required before petitions are filed for right. the next election. And so if they're not done now, then the positions wouldn't be impacted for eight years. And so council has been in positions in the past mm -hmm. where raises of salaries for elected officials weren't done on a consistent four year basis. And so playing catch up after 12 years, yeah. um, and some of the members that have been here for a while were in this position where then the raises were you know, more in the ballpark of 25% and above. And so I just wanted people who are watching this to not think that it's a 10% raise. It's a 10% after four years of no raise. 
So I just, again, just for the record, I wanted to make sure that was very clear so that people didn't misunderstand. And then your point is very well taken, Mr. Cantor, that this is for who, whatever individual wins the elections in November and takes office in January. Correct. So no one sitting here <coughs> today would uh, benefit from this raise unless they were re-elected or elected by voters in Correct. November. So I just wanted the record to be clear that Again, while percentage looks like a lot, it's really after four years of no race. So, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Mr. Bailey. Um, thank since you. Meg is here and we just went over the budget for 23, I guess my question would be how do these numbers fit into the budget? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, I think the mayor might be able to better answer that, frankly. Um, but um, they would not have yet been incorporated into the salary. So, this is an addition, is that correct, Mayor? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's the next year. Right. It is not. A, it's Correct. not appropriated for 2023 this year. It mm -hmm. would be appropriated in 2024. And uh, I would just like to say that again. What uh, reiterate what uh, Mr. Uh, Woodruff said is that we ha only have so many days before a filing deadline to do this, and uh, and it's either has to pass tonight or we wait another uh, four years and then it's eight years. And uh, when you think about getting highly qualified professionals into some of these positions, such as city auditor, um, uh, those that really need degrees, such as city attorneys, uh, I think it behooves us to try to attract quality residents who live in our city to run for office. Thank you. So in, with respect to the budget, then I'm assuming that since it's for 24, we have ample time to plan on these adjustments and it yes. shouldn't be an impact. Yeah, right, right. there'll be an adjustment to the existing budget because it will have That's yeah, correct. Won't be an impact. That's correct. It's, this is, would take effect in 2024. Right. Ms. Elmore. I, I, just, I would like to make a comment. Um, I, I think over the years, all of us will agree that I believe that the administration and along with council, we have appropriated, we have voted on funding. Um, administration has handled the funding appropriately. We've been through a pandemic, which we did very well through that pandemic, given the administration, their talents, their abilities, their knowledge, and all of that comes into play when you're looking at a qualified applicant or an applicant that can uh, move through situations and circumstances that we have never been through before. And that takes a qualified applicant, I will agree with the mayor on that, to wait four years to then double back and then increase salaries um, higher than a 12% is what we would be looking at. And Unfortunately, we all are in a crunch right now because of inflation. Um, and it's, it's hurting all of us. But at the end of the day, it's, it's kind of an apples and oranges kind of thing. You can't weigh somebody's knowledge, skills, and abilities against what's happening with inflation and all that. We have run this city. We have run this city, I believe, the best way. And we have other cities trying to model what we've done as a city in maneuvering through a pandemic and the things that we've done in a pandemic and in our city. And so, too, we, 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 are, we are gracious to give raises to our public employees, which they need them. I used to represent public employees, so I know how important it is to make sure that when they negotiate a contract, they negotiate a contract that gives them wages, benefits, and and all those things that need it in order to, um, in order to live, in order to live. And so my comments are basically, um, they, they kind of pan down to this. You know, when, when somebody shows you that they can operate at a level and has, has shown that without getting the benefits of a raise, then you award them with, You've done a great job and you, you give them a raise and that's how it's worked in the workplace. It should not work any different here. And I just believe that we as a city um, have done a, a great job. We, we have done a, a standing ovation <coughs> type of job in my opinion. And so in my opinion, I believe it is a well-deserved um, raise, promotion, whatever you want to call it. 
and it's well deserved, and, and I'm in agreement with the legislation. Thank, Thank you. you. Any further comments? So with that said, I don't disagree with what Council Person Elmore said or anybody else. I have always voted in accordance to get good people. There's people in the audience that I have voted for and sitting up here that I have voted for. I know to retain good people. And one other thing, we're not voting for a person on this. We are voting for the position. So that's my feeling. You know, we can go on and vote. I'm good. Thank yeah. you. I feel good. All right. There's no further comments. <coughs> Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Dixon? No. Cantor? No. Smith? Yes. Heck? Yes. Connison? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Ordinance 1, 2023 has been adopted. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to accept the recommendation of the Parks and Recreation Committee to appoint Mike Atkins to the Park and Recreation Committee Commission for a three-year term ending 12-31-2020. Second. Thank you. There's been a motion by <coughs> Ms. Heck, second by Mr. Cantor, to accept the recommendation of the Parks and Recreation Commission for the appointment of Mike Atkins. Any discussion? I would just like to thank the Parks Commission for meeting and doing interviews and doing the due diligence and everything. Uh, and looking at the candidates and coming up with this recommendation. If there's no further discussion, Ms. Hall, please call roll. Dixon? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Smith? Yes. Heck? Yes. Connison? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Okay, Mike Atkins has been appointed the first Welcome back. Thank you. You do a good job. Mr. Yeah. President, does he accept? <laughs> I don't think we give them the option. <laughs> <laughs> when, when are they swearing in? Is uh, the mayor smoke swearing in tomorrow? Is that what you do? I, so. uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Soon. Yeah, I know you've been not out. that far ahead yet. Yeah. Right. But <laughs> well, we're glad you're here tonight. Sorry to make too. It's been a struggle. So. <laughs> I want to thank you guys, and it, it, it is an honor to serve the city on you know, a couple different you know, boards and We thank you for all your hard work and look forward to yes, your next you. three years. So you interviewed well. Okay, that's all the business we have for us on this special meeting at this point. I would accept a motion to adjourn. Mr. President, to move to adjourn. Second. A motion by Mr. Bailey, second by Mr. Cantor to adjourn. A discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Dixon? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Smith? Yes. Heck? Yes. Connison? Yes. Um, work? Yes. Thank you. Yes. And we are adjourned at 643, and we'll be going into our committee meeting shortly after the recording stops and restarts. So just give us a moment. <laughs>